share a dream with you. Picture an extremely tall building. At the top is a room with one large window. Standing to the left of this window is a very distinguished person who <coughs> radiates power and confidence. Directly in front of this individual is a long line of people waiting to be inspired by this person to jump. And one by one, without hesitation, they jump right out of that window, 50 stories down, where they hit the pavement and then get up, completely liberated. <coughs> the line quickly dwindles down to its last few people, and suddenly, it's your turn. You look over the ledge and hesitate. Fear grips you as you slowly step over, one leg at a time. Frozen there, you prepare to let go and jump. But you never get a chance. Because just like that, you wake up. And boy, did I wake up. <laughs> Still holding on to that ledge. But in my case, it was my bedpost. <laughs> my first thought was the movie Bird Box, where everybody seemed to have lost their minds. Contest master fellow Toastmaster and honored guests, please allow me to walk you back on that ledge where you will learn what stops our jump in life. You will also learn <laughs> why we all have to go back and jump. And lastly, I will tell you how to jump. By the end of this speech, I guarantee you will see your life differently. But more importantly, you'll take action. So let us jump right into my first point. What stops our jump? And why do many of us hesitate on the ledge of life? Fear. Did you have a bully in grade school? Anyone? Now, I don't see too many hands up, so I'm automatically going to have to assume that maybe you didn't have a bully in grade school, or more than likely, you were that bully in grade school. <laughs> and it's OK. My bully from childhood was literally this height. I mean, everybody was taller than this guy. But I was bound by him as long as I was fearful. I used to have to hide my lunch money and bus pass every day of school until I finally got fed up and I socked him one. After that, he was no longer a problem. This simple event from my childhood taught me that we are bound in life only by our fears. If you have a circumstance or a person that's using you and you can't say no, you are bound. If you have a supervisor or a boss that mistreats you and you fear losing your job, you are bound. If you have a deep dream that you constantly put off for years, you are bound. These small jumps that we fail to take is what stops our big jump. In the dream, those people that did jump, they were free afterwards, free of fear. So you have to imagine your life without fear and live from that place. That is when fear dissolves and power rises. And this is the key to my second point. Why do we have to go back and jump? Well, because it's the only way to own that power. You know, I always wanted to be a professional speaker. I mean, can't y'all tell? <laughs> and then I started to figure out, I'm handsome enough to pull it off, too. <laughs> but in order for this to take place, I would first have to get rid of the negative friends I was hanging out with. And sadly, I didn't have the courage to do it. So as a result, I ended up in a very dark place in my life where I was just stuck. Nothing would go my way. Then one night, I had that dream. I immediately knew that its meaning was very important to my life. So I tried for years to go back to that same dream. I want to go back and jump. It's like back in high school when I took the prettiest girl to the prom. And right before our lips met, I woke up. I'm like, man, I want to go back and this. <laughs> but then it dawned on me, going back and jumping was not necessarily going back to that same dream or circumstance. Because we may wait for years for a dream that never comes again. What it means is stepping into any situation that affords us the same opportunity and then jumping there. 
Once I realized this, my life changed. So even though I didn't jump in my dream, I jumped here in real life. That's why I stand before you now. The CEO of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, listen to these words he said. The biggest risk is not taking any risk. So are you ready today to jump? Good. <laughs> because now, my daughter, I'm going to tell you how. Your greatest gift is your ability to imagine a thing into being. To take something that you can only see in here and bring it out here for all to see. You were created with this gift so that you would win at everything you did in life. But there was one requirement in order for it to work. You must believe it. So I ask you, what is that one thing in your life that you have yet to act upon? Allow it to surface now. Then ask yourself, what kind of person would I be if I released all fears and was free to be this person right now? How would I feel? Imagine that for a moment. You are now back in that tall building, and it's your turn to jump. Below, a new you awaits, and you are ready. So you leap high, leaving the old you behind. And as quickly as it began, it's over. You hit the pavement only to realize that this, here, now, is your dream. And the power you now feel in this new you was always yours. My friends, you now know what stops our jump. You know why we have to go back and jump. And you know how to jump. Now everybody, let's get up. Let's get up and jump. Together, let's all jump. Woo!